Welcome back to John's Horror Corner. I am John, and we are here doing another short horror film reaction. So this one is called the Chrysalis. I probably totally butchered it. I can't read. I was a former Marine, so, you know, we can't really read. Um, this was released back in 2020. So this won a few awards. It got the best screenplay, best first time filmmaker, breakthrough filmmaker, and best short. It is... Um, Written and directed by Mr. Michael Squid. So I'm going to have his YouTube uh, link in the description of this video when it's posted. So you guys can check out all his other stuff. Uh, and um, I love I love doing these. I love putting their links in the descriptions because I love supporting uh, directors. I love supporting writers. I love supporting all these short horror, uh, short horror films and getting them out there. I may not have a very big following now, but I'm hoping... Um, my following continues to grow so i can just help get these uh short horror films a lot more uh views and get them more notice out there and stuff like that um i never really got into short horror films until i started doing it on my youtube channel now that i'm doing it more often i really love watching short horror films like the attention span of people is pretty short so like the short horror films is like the perfect like it's just like the perfect um the perfect shorts for like a lot of us horror fanatics and just seeing uh the different styles the different ideas and the different um ways that they do things like that so i really really enjoy just watching random short horror films and i love watching them with you guys and um if you have any short horror film suggestions for me to watch uh definitely just send me a comment you know um and my link tree is in the bio. So if you want to check out my other socials, Instagram and TikTok, go ahead and give those a follow. And let's go ahead and get right into this creepy, scary, scary short, short horror film, The Chrysalis. I'm not even going to try saying that anymore because the director is going to get mad that I'm butchering it every time. I'm sorry, Mr. Squid. Uh, please don't be mad at me. But all right. But I think I forgot to give the synopsis of this short horror film. Um, a son moves in with his mom, and I think she is starting to have dementia. And he's starting to notice that her alternate behavior is something a lot deeper and sinister, and like something else is at play. Hi, mom. Wow, she doesn't even look oh. like she recognizes him or knows who he is. Good That's got to be hard. You. Adam, come on. Remember? I'm here to help out. Okay? Adam! Oh, oh, I'm so sorry! <laughs> That's okay. No, it's so, it's so hard to hold on to things these days. It's so fuzzy. That's, That's, okay. That's got to be rough. We'll, we'll figure out the fuzzy stuff together. <sighs> uh, oh, oh, where's my manners? Come in. That's a cute house. And you can put that right here. Oh, wow. Okay. She's in the bugs. Have a seat. Okay. <laughs> she already <laughs> seems a little creepy. Oh, man. I'll get you some tea. Uh, yeah, sounds good. I'm definitely digging the music, though. The entomologist? I wonder what that is a study of. Here you go. Thank you. So, how's life in the city? Uh, yeah, with your job. Um, I mean, well, I took some time off to help out. Um, Remember? I brought you some tea. God damn it. It started with the little things. Mm. Like passwords, birthdays. Uh oh. My keys. 
I've lost my cell phone. And doctor's appointments. My medication. I couldn't find my car. I left the oven on. Oh gosh, that's bad. You could burn the whole house down. M Mom, Mom, it'll be okay. We'll figure this out. Oh, Rick, thank you so much for coming. You always his, knew what to do in situations like this. I thought his name was Adam. Actually, Mom, it's Adam. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Adam. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. No, I'm so sorry. I'm, 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 I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm, I'm going to bed now. Wait, Mom. That's, that's got to be rough. You're in Epizel. Don't forget it. What would I do without you? Good night, dear. That actress is good. She is really good at this role. Ah, oh, poor guy though. That's gotta be rough, man. Seeing your seeing your mother like that. creepy this would actually make for a good horror game too you gotta come stay with your mother for a little bit who's got dementia yeah this would be a really good horror game Ooh. Oh. oh my god oh that was creepy what are you doing up Oh, that was Go creepy. to bed, Rick. It's Adam. <laughs> Who's Rick? Does she have another son? Or is that a deceased husband? Or... That looks really creepy. Gotta be rough. Um, Mom, last night. What did she make? It doesn't look. You really scared me. Too tasty. Come out of there. <laughs> what? You heard me. What are you talking about? Don't play stupid with me. Oh. Come out of there. Come Stop out, Mom. Come you're scaring me. Christ. What? Jesus. I'm thirsty. She should not be living by herself. I don't know. He's there to help, but. She should be like in a home somewhere where she could be watched and taken care of. Late stage dementia. Manifested in schizophrenia. But it's time to molt. Time to get out of that oh tired my God. skin. <laughs> oh, it's so creepy. To herself and others. Now he calls someone. No, when I tell... No, she was in my room with a knife. And she... Well, I don't know. I don't know. I, nothing about this makes sense. Okay, she's... This is different. Mm. Yeah. I'm really scared. 
Who did you call? Mom? Mom! Mom, what? Yeah, I don't think dementia changes your face like that. I thought Mom! Was she in the attic? I thought she would get in the attic. Oh, you can hear the flies. Oh god, oh my god, there she is, there she is. Ooh, is that a cocoon? <coughs> oh, that's so gross. Uh, Time to your cocoon. Oh my god. Oh, god. oh shit. Oh, so she's a, a bug lady. The newly discovered insect is possibly parasitic, dangerous, one CDC. Oh. Now that makes a lot of sense. So she was infected by a parasite, obviously started turning her into some bug-like creature. Oh my gosh, that oof. that was really creepy. But oh, that was so amazing. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, comment the director and writer. I'm gonna tell him like this would be a great horror game where you get the news that your mom's going through early stages of dementia. So you go and stay with her for a little bit so you can take care of her. And as the days go on as you're taking care of her you're starting to notice a weird and creepy things like he was at night where she was making noises she was talking to herself and like different voices and then anytime he peeked out to check on her she had like a different face and then when you turn the light on it was just her that would be like a really really good psychological horror game and i'm gonna tell the director if he can like maybe put something together and make it happen i would definitely play that i would love to be the tester of that gameplay that would be great and i could play it for all of you guys and post it um so that'll be it for today i hope you guys enjoy that i'm gonna go to the director and uh let him know about my idea right now so until next time you guys take care out there and we'll see ya